You are listening to part one of the podcast series, 15 Laws of Growth. The law of intentionality. The law of intentionality just simply says growth doesn't just happen. If you're going to grow, if I'm going to grow, we're going to grow on purpose. I've told the story for many, many years in Lancaster, Ohio in 1972 at the Holiday Inn. I'm having breakfast with a guy named Kurt Kampmeyer. And Kurt is talking to me about growth, and he asked me this question. He said, John, do you have a plan for personal growth? I had no plan for personal growth. Just a few years out of college, had my degree, enjoying my ministry, didn't understand I was to have a plan for personal growth, but I was a young leader. And one of the mistakes I made as a young leader is I thought that I always had to have answers. And so therefore, I was a Mr. Answer Man. I many times didn't know the right answer, but I had answers. Because I thought leaders were confident and bold and giving direction. And so when, when Kurt said, John, do you have a personal growth plan? I immediately began to, I didn't have a plan at all, but I began to tell him how hard I worked and what my schedule was and what I did every day. And I, and I, I probably talked for 10, 12 minutes, and I was kind of like a plane circling a field trying to come in for a landing. You know, I, I just kept circling. I wasn't going anywhere, and, but I needed to land this thing. And, and finally, I just kind of ran out of things to say and kind of ran out of gas. And so I, I landed my little plane, and, and soon as I stopped talking, he looked at me and he smiled and he said, you don't have a plan, do you? And I said, no, I don't have a plan. No, I don't have a plan. Then he said the words that just changed my life. He said, John, growth is not an automatic process. If you're going to grow, you have to grow on purpose. That's why the law of intentionality is the first law of personal growth. No one ever grew by accident. Now, now we may get older by accident, by just hanging around, but we don't get better. And there's a difference between getting older and getting better. And people that are intentional in their growth, they immediately begin to see the benefits of it. And I started my journey. I, I, began to, I began to say, okay, how am I going to grow myself? Because I, that day, I, I caught it that day. There is a quote by James Allen that is in your notes, and this is an important quote to me because as a kid, I was in the seventh grade when I read this book for the very first time, As a Man Thinketh. James Allen said, people are anxious to improve their circumstances but are unwilling to improve themselves. They therefore remain bound. That's a true statement. You walk to the average person on the street right now and they're anxious to get rid of their problems, get rid of their stress, fix all the things in their life. But if you talk to them, about, I'll tell you what let's do. To get all that accomplished, let's fix you. Let's change you. Let's grow you. I promise you, they back away from that real quick. They want their surroundings and their circumstances to change, but they don't understand that the core of everything has to be them, and the change has to begin with them. The greatest gap in the world is the space between knowing and doing. That's why the law of intentionality is so huge. Let me give you some of the growth gaps that I've discovered in my own life. You'll discover them too as you start taking this journey. One is the assumption gap. The assumption gap, we've already talked about it. I assume I will grow automatically. I just assume that if I, if I go to work every day and I do my job, I, I just assume that I'll grow automatically. I was sitting having lunch one day with John Cotter, who is the prof out of Harvard that's written some wonderful books on change. And John looked at me. It was when I think I was writing the book, Today Matters, and I was kind of walking him through. We always, when we get together, we talk about books. And, 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 and he said this statement to me. He said, John, he said, most people accept their lives. They don't lead their lives. I thought how true that is. Most people get up and they don't have a plan for their life. They're, they're not intentional in what they're doing. They basically look at their schedule and say, I wonder what's going to happen to me today. The assumption gap. I assume I will grow automatically. Wrong assumption, big gap. Number two, the knowledge gap. I don't know how to grow. A lot of people don't grow because they don't know how. 
You see, when we started in kindergarten and went through elementary and junior high, high school and college, guess what? We had curriculum in front of us. We had, a, we, had a, we had a road to run on. We had systems. I mean, it was just, you know, you do this next, you do this next, and all of a sudden we got our degrees, et cetera, diplomas, and, and now we're out in life, and, and, and nobody's got a curriculum for us. Nobody's, nobody has something set up for us, and all of a sudden we say, okay, okay if I'm going to keep growing, what do, what do I do? In fact, after, after Kirk Kampmeyer shared with me that I didn't have a plan for personal growth, which I knew I didn't. For the next six months, I went to all the friends and everybody I knew, and I asked them the same question. I said, do you have a plan for personal growth? I, in other words, I'm looking for somebody that's intentional. I'm looking for somebody that's growing because if they have a plan, I'm going to ask them what it is so they can help me get my plan going and help me get going. So I'm looking for somebody to help me and jumpstart me in growth. So I asked for six months, do you have a plan for growth? If I ask one person, I ask 500 people, do you have a plan for personal growth? didn't find one person that had a plan for personal growth. 